Hi, I'm Guy, and tonight on Geek Tech, we're going to show you how to take this and turn it into this using nothing but this. So, a while back, I had inherited a good portion of my father's slides. He took a ton of pictures from his time when he was stationed in Germany and over in Turkey and all that stuff during the Vietnam War. And after that, he, he took a ton of pictures of my sister and I as children growing up at our birthday parties and things like that and he converted a lot of them into these little 35 millimeter slides. Well, they're really hard to see. It's really difficult to see. So I, you know, I looked around and I said, hey, I think I could get one of these companies to convert them. And they said, it'll be 50 cents a piece. And I said, that's um, a lot of money since he gave me 14 carousels full of these slides. So I thought, well, you know what we could do? I'll bet you we could build a thing just like this thing here, and I could convert these slides. So this is how to do this. First of all, what you're going to need is you're going to need a decent camera. I actually have a Canon 50D. It's one of my very favorite cameras. I love this thing. I highly recommend that you get a bulb for it so that you can remote trigger it so that it doesn't move once it's actually positioned. You'll need it on a tripod. Then we build this guy. This guy is built pretty simply. It's a piece of just normal wood here. Like I, I think this is a piece of just plank wood of some sort. I got a little piece of two by four here, another piece of the little, all it is is just effectively a little H here, just enough that I can get this light on here. This light is just your normal $8 Office Depot light. It's easy enough. It is critical that you get a curly Q bulb. Do not get an incandescent. If you get an incandescent, you will burn your, uh, your slides because these guys have no heat. They don't generate any real heat at all. But it's so it's critical you get a curly cue bulb or a, an LED. Um, also, it's very important to get cool burning lights, the ones that burn white, not the ones that burn yellow. And the reason is because the ones that burn yellow will change the color on this and cause you to have to do much more work in Photoshop. So, here's what you got so far. We got little planks of wood all screwed together with a 2x4 to make a stand. Just a little piece of 2x4. It's not even that big of a piece of 2x4. Just a little piece of 2x4. And then you just screw it all together. Then you cut out on the front here. What you do is you cut out Oh, I got her. Get back in there. You cut out a small section the size of a slide. And then you build it up in a few layers so that you can do a few layers here so you can just slide it right in. And I put a, a normal clothespin, just a normal little clothespin right here. And I took half of it off and then clipped it to the, to the wood. And I'll show close-ups of that in a minute. You take the, the slide and you just lock it right in there. The clothespin closes down on it. And then all you have to do is turn on the light and there's the slide. Now, the thing I've got right here is a diffuser because obviously without this thing, the, the light is gonna shine in, un, uh, it's gonna shine unevenly on the, uh, the slide. So we don't want that. We don't want that. No light being weird. So what we've got here is a diffuser. Now this, I just picked up, it was the top of a couple of drawers 
that I had, little drawers about ye, ye tall, like little slidey drawers, keep pins and stuff in it. It had gotten crushed in one of the moves, but the, the, the lid was just fine. It was still okay. So all you need is a diffuser, and all you need is something that you can clearly not see through. It's just translucent, and it's fine. Just enough that the light can get through, but doesn't get through even, or it, it ends up being even. It spreads the light out. So you'll need a little diffuser on there. All of this cost me $8 for this thing, because I found everything else in my basement. It probably would cost you a little bit more than that, but either way, even if you bought all the wood and went to everything and went through this and all of this stuff, this thing cannot cost more than 25 bucks. Then what you need to do, after this is all set up and rigged, then we need to talk about the camera. For your camera, you need to have, like this guy does, you need to have a, a macro lens in the front. Or you need to shoot from across the room. And that's the choices you've got there. Either way, I recommend you always leave it on autofocus and then zoom all the way in until your frame is filled up with the slide. You're gonna be setting this for an ISO of 100. I mean, seriously, it's like daylight shooting straight into this light. So you want that ISO level really, really, really low. So it's, you're not like, it's not like you're shooting in your basement or anything like that. You're shooting straight into a light. You set the ISO like that, you let the autofocus adjust to the frame itself. Autofocus works by looking for blurry areas and then adjusting the focus until they sharpen up. So, you will automatically focus on your slide. That's what it's gonna do. It'll be automatically on your slides. So don't worry about that. Set it for an ISO 100 or so, put it on there, put this guy on, and then you're good to go. Of course, I always like to put my remote on here so you have your remote this thing sitting on there you don't have to touch it you can just push the trigger there remotely and that won't adjust it at all it won't change it if you do that i'm not kidding i did one slide every i think it took me four seconds to swap the slide out give it a second to a, to do the autofocus and then pull the trigger and then Four seconds. So I was running through slides every, like, oh, I don't know. I was going through a ton of them. I cleared a carousel out in an hour. So this is a markedly more efficient and cheaper way to do it. It's not to say that I don't think that, you know, sending them off to to uh, wherever, wherever to get them done is not a bad idea if you don't have the time or the wherewithal to do this. So anyway, here is the slide projector th thingy and you heard it here first or probably second but you heard it here anyway and that's the important part so there you go this is geek tech i've been guy thanks for watching <laughs>